In today's lesson, we're going to talk about how we could subtract three fractions with unlike denominators. In order to subtract these three fractions, we need to get the same denominator. So we have 6, 5, and 4. A simple way to find the same denominator is to multiply the three denominators. It may not give us the LCM, the least common denominator, but nevertheless, it will be a common denominator. 6 times 5 is 30. 30 times 4, 3 times 4 is 12, so 30 times 4 will be 120. So let's get a common denominator of 120. So here's how we can do that. The first fraction, I'm going to use the other two denominators to get the common denominator. So I'm going to multiply the first fraction by 5 times 4, which is 20. So I'm going to multiply by 20 over 20. Now the second fraction, I'm going to use the other two denominators on the second fraction. So 6 times 4 is 24. I'm going to multiply the top and bottom by 24. For the third fraction, I'm going to use the first two denominators. 6 times 5 is 30. So I'm going to multiply this fraction by 30 over 30. 20 times 5 is 120. 20 times 6 is... Wait, I take that back. 20 times 5 is not 120. If you have five $20 bills, that's 100 bucks. Six $20 bills will be 120. 24 times two is 48. 24 times five, we know it's gonna be 120. If you want to use long multiplication, here's what you can do. So four times five is 20. We're gonna write the zero, carry the two. Five times two is 10 plus two, we get 120. By the way, when you use this method, the denominator of each three fractions will be the same. 30 times 1 is 30. 4 times 30. 4 times 3 is 12. Add the 0, you get 120. So as you can see, we have the same denominator. So now, all we need to do is subtract the numerators. 100 minus 48 is 52. 52 minus 30 is going to be 22. Now, notice that both numbers in this fraction are even, which means we could simplify the fraction. 22, I'm going to write that as 11 times 2. 120 is basically 60 times 2. So we could cancel a 2 and reduce that fraction or simplify it to 11 over 60. So that's the answer for this example. Now, let's try another problem. Feel free to try this one if you want to. 7 over 9. We're going to have 1 over 3 and 2 over 5. And let's put a minus sign between the 3. Go ahead and subtract those three fractions. So let's find a common denominator. Now we could multiply all three fractions. We'll get... 9 times 5 is 45, times 3 is 135. But notice that 3 goes into 9, so we really don't need to use a 3. If we multiply 9 by 5, we'll get a, a common denominator, which is 45. 9, 3, and 5, they're all multiples. They can all go into 45. But if you were to use 135, you can still get the right answer, you just have to simplify the answer at the end. But let's try to get a common denominator of 45. To do that, I need to multiply this by 5, this by 9, and this one by 15. 5 times 9 on the bottom here is 45. 5 times 7 is 35. 1 times 15 is 15. 3 times 15 is 45. 2 times 9 is 18. 5 times 9 is 45. So now that we have the same denominator, we could subtract the numerators. 35 minus 15 is 20. 20 minus 18 is 2. So the answer is going to be 2 over 45.